Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth, and especially my marijuana advocates. It's time again for some pot news. Thanks to normal.org. That's N-O-R-M-L dot org. First up, Angus Reid poll. Three quarters of Americans oppose prison for pot offenses. Three out of four Americans favor the use of fines or probation in lieu of criminal sanctions for marijuana offenders, according to an Angus Reid public opinion poll of 1,011 U.S. adults. According to the poll, 74% of respondents said that they favored the imposition of alternative penalties such as fines, probation, or community service rather than prison for those who found to have violated marijuana possession uh, pose- possession law. Excuse me. By contrast, only 41% of respondents favored such penalties for credit card fraud, and only one-third of those polled favored alternative sentencing for drunk driving offenders. Among ca- Canadian respondents, 78% prefer fines in lieu of prison for minor marijuana offenses, and among British respondents, 70% endorse sentencing alternatives. Good Lord, and this uh, is dear to my heart because this comes out of my home state of New Hampshire. The New Hampshire House members passed medical cannabis measure by a veto-proof majority. This is outstanding because twice before, even after a large portion of the people wanted the medical marijuana bill, that redneck governor who insists it's okay to buy your hard liquor on the sides of New Hampshire highways just as you enter or come from Massachusetts, that's fine. Drink your hard liquor on the highway, but don't smoke any pot. That's Lynch's attitude. But anyway... Enough about my rant. Members of the New Hampshire House of Representatives voted 236 to 96 last week in favor of legislation that would allow for the personal cultivation and use of cannabis for therapeutic purposes. The veto-proof majority approval came following uh, renewed veto threats by Democratic Governor John Lynch, who previously rejected a separate, more restrictive medical marijuana measure in 2009. As passed by the House, Senate Bill 409 allows qualified patients to possess up to four cannabis plants and or six ounces of marijuana for therapeutic purposes. Members of the Senate had previously passed the measure in March by a 13 to 11 vote. Because House members added a fiscal note to the bill, it must now go before the House Finance Committee before returning to the Senate for a concurrence vote. The measure requires three additional Senate votes in order to override Governor Lynch's anticipated veto. Separate legislation, HB 1526, which sought to decriminalize the possession of up to one-half ounce of marijuana for adults for non-medical purposes, was rejected by the Senate on Wednesday. The House had previously voted in favor of the measure in March. And Connecticut General Assembly approves medical marijuana proposal. Members of the Connecticut General Assembly decided 95 to 51 last week in favor of legislation to allow for the limited use and distribution of cannabis as medicine. Democratic Governor Daniel Malloy also backs the measure. As approved by lawmakers, the Palliative Use of Marijuana Act mandates that the state uh, to license a limited number of producers to cultivate cannabis for therapeutic purposes. Qualified patients under this act would be required to obtain their cannabis via licensed pharmacies, which would obtain permits to dispense the substance from the State Department of Consumer Protection. The measure now goes before the Senate, which only uh, has only a limited time to act on the bill. According to the 2012 statewide Quinnipiac University poll of 1,600 residents, 68% of voters endorsed the measure. Pollsters reported there was no gender, partisan, income, age, or education group opposed to legalizing marijuana as a physician-recommended therapy. If enacted, Connecticut would become the 17th state since 1996 to allow the limited legalization of medical cannabis. This would be the fourth New England state to also do so. Well, that is the most recent news. Much uh, love and thanks to all the people at normal.org have been working so hard to educate people. And if you're a first-timer starting to wake up about what's really going on with pot, please educate yourself before you make any judgments. I can tell you that from my own experience, I am uh, a 25-year-plus smoker, pretty close to a regular basis. And for me, uh, it is medicinal. It's also, uh, it's just great in so many ways. I don't even want to get into a rant right now, but um, throw away the propaganda, throw away the stereotypes, and keep in mind, this is a plant that grows up out of the earth, that God gave me this earth to have dominion over all the animals and the plants. This is a gift from God. No man 
has the right to legislate this plant. So whether you're a smoker or not, you should be supporting my right to go into the woods, pick a leaf, set down my pipe, unwind for a few minutes before I get back to my day's chores. That's my God-given right. Don't take it from me, and don't tax me for it.